At one point in his writings, John Calvin lays out the essence of what it means to live the Christian life. He says to do that, he could uh, make us a list of the commandments we should be keeping or a list of all the character traits we should be exhibiting. But instead, he wants to boil it down to the basic motive and the basic principle of what it means to live the Christian life. The basic motive is that God sent his son to save us by grace and adopt us into his family. So now, because of that grace, in joy and gratitude, we want to resemble our Father. We want the family resemblance. We want to look like our Savior. We want to please our Father. The basic principle then is this, that we are not to live to please ourselves. We're not to live as if we belong to ourselves. And that means several things. It means, first of all, we are not to uh, determine for ourselves what is right or wrong. We give up the right to determine that, and we rely wholly on God's Word. We also give up the operating principle that we usually use in day-to-day -day, uh, life, and we stop putting ourselves first, and we always put first what pleases God and what loves our neighbor. It also means that we are to have no part of our lives that is immune from this self-giving. We're supposed to give ourselves wholly to him, body and soul, and it means we trust God through thick and thin, through the good and the bad times in life and in death. And how does the motive and the principle relate? Because we're saved by grace, we're not our own. A woman once said to me, if I knew I was saved because of what I did, if I had contributed to my salvation, then God couldn't ask anything of me because I made a contribution. But if I'm saved by grace, sheer grace, then there's nothing he cannot ask of me. And that's right, you're not your own. You're bought with a price. Some years ago, I heard a Christian speaker say, how can you come to grips with someone who has given himself utterly for you without you giving yourself utterly for him? He gave himself wholly for you, so now we must give ourselves wholly to him.